Hi guys, it's Alexia. Welcome back to the Liberated Mama YouTube channel. I just wanted to do my weekly reflection really quick because I am not at home. I do not have coffee. It is not in the morning. <laughs> None of the things that I wanted to kind of make a ritual for myself because this week has been out of the ordinary. So as I've mentioned, I think in other videos, my mom is experiencing end of life cancer and she is in hospice care and I was suddenly told that she um, that she only had a couple of weeks potentially and I was planning on visiting um, you know I try to visit as much as I can but I live five hours from my mom which makes it really hard but uh, so I decided that I needed to come now so we left Nashville on Thursday and I've been up here since it's Saturday it feels like it's been forever but when I come on these trips, it's it's hard, right? It's hard to get work done. So basically, I'm not asking for a pity party or anything like that, but I want to start this out by saying that because of this happening, like it's very important to me, obviously, as my mom, but I just started a business. I work from home. I have a number of things I'm trying to get done. And so one of the things that I wanted to talk about this week on my reflections of being a work-at-home mom is that, well, two things. One, you need to have, you never know what's going to happen. So you need to be prepared. And I guess this sort of relates, which is if something does happen and you need to drop everything, you need to help take care of a loved one, you need to uh, leave town for some reason, or like you yourself, God forbid, something happened to you. But if it were, like if I all of a sudden couldn't source or take pictures or write or whatever type, what would my what would happen to my business? What would happen to your business? Like, would it just die? It mine would totally die. Like, if I physically can't be there to do the work I need to do, I make no money, right? And that is not a good situation to be in. And I wasn't thinking like that until here it is. So I managed to bring a tote of stuff to photograph while I was here and stuff like that. But it's like Thursday, I spent most of the day driving. Yesterday, I spent most of the day visiting my mom. Today, I spent most of the day visiting with my mom again, you know, because I, I need to spend that time with her. I've listed zero items. I think I shared in a posh party once. I've done nothing for the blog. I've recorded no videos. Like, it's just been kind of chaotic, and I'm frustrated with myself because I didn't set it up to where if I needed to leave, I can't just be here in the moment. I can't just be spending time with my family because I'm like, uh, I need to work because me not working means I don't make enough money, right? And so going forward, I think that it's really, really important to have my business set up in a way to where it can run without me. So I need to figure out what that looks like. Um, that's a lot of stuff, right? Because for eBay and Poshmark, it requires knowing what items to buy, knowing what items to photograph, how to photograph, how to list, knowing how to price, knowing how to ship, knowing all the stuff for Poshmark, like sharing and liking and whatever. And then for eBay, understanding how to word everything, understanding the SEO involved, understanding the changing market, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then when something sells, where is the item? Like right now, and I hate this, I left my husband with basically three totes of clothes that are not put in inventory. And he basically has to sift through them to try to find the item that is needed, um, which is not good. Now, I sold, I did sell one item that was like that, so I wanted to tell him how to find it. But the other item was put in inventory, luckily. But basically, it makes me, you know, I need to evaluate those things. So if you guys have any ideas, um, things that you've tried, things that you've implemented to make sure that you are not um, left like that your that your system can be can run without you, right? That's what they say. You want to have a business, you want to work on the business, not in the business. Or at least that's my goal. I love shopping and thrifting and writing and blogging and all of this stuff, but ultimately my goal is not to work really really hard so I can make a bunch of money or whatever. It's so that I can have a life with my family that I love and that I create something that that can stand on its own, providing value for people, helping people and that it's not requiring my physical time exchange for money, right? You want it to be more passive, at least semi-passive. Um, so that's my future goals. 
And on the flip side of that, I love that I'm working from home and it's allowed me to come see my mom. I didn't have to ask for, off from work for anybody. I didn't have to worry about getting back to make sure that I, you know, not taking too much time off or anything like that. It's up to me. So it's just up to me to be creative to figure out how I'm going to make it work at the same time. So what I'm doing is I'm taking pictures of stuff I have. I'm going to be running sales in my Poshmark closet, dropping prices in eBay. I might go sourcing here just to... A, be able to write off the trip as a sourcing trip, and then B, be able to, which I think you can do that, and B, to have stuff to take pictures of and just list it. The awesome, awesome, awesome thing about being in a rural area is that there's a lot of vintage cool stuff, which I love. So, and they don't see it as being vintage cool. It's just old stuff people have. So that's a tip that I would give anybody who lives in a rural area. You think you don't have anything to source? You definitely do. It may not be what you think. It may not be mainstream, but it's there. And it's actually worth more money than a lot of the other stuff anyway. So um, I am, my son, my sister decided to take my son for a little bit, which was very nice of her. I didn't ask her to. She definitely didn't have to. But she just wanted to spend some time with him, which gave me the opportunity to kind of come back to my grandfather's house, get all of my stuff gathered up and um, work for a little bit and I think I listed like one thing on Poshmark and I was sharing to the parties but basically I'm going to go get my son then we're going to go the hour to my grandmother's house and then I'm going to stay there for the next couple of days I'm going to try to get some work done nobody has internet that's the interesting thing about visiting my family is that no one has internet um, my grandfather just doesn't have a need for it my grandmother lives too far out in the country so they don't have internet um, you can do dial up, but so I need to be creative about how I don't even have cell phone service at her house. Hmm. I didn't consider that staying here at my grandfather's house. I can at least list for my phone. I can do stuff, but for my grandmother's house, I can't do anything. So like she lives just lives too far out. So it might be that every day I might need to go out, find a coffee shop or something, work for a little bit. It'll give her time to spend with my son too. So that could be good. Um, I'm just kind of rambling off ideas because I just didn't think about the fact she has no internet or cell phone service. I used to have cell phone service there, but now I have AT&T, not a, not a knock about AT&T, but it doesn't work out there and Verizon does. Um, and so I have my computer with me, which is really just serving as a way to watch Mickey Mouse right now for my son. But what I'm thinking is that I could create drafts. Like, I just have done eBay so much that I know what drafts are going to ask for, you know, condition, description, whatever. And so I can kind of make an Excel file, not using the Internet, but just have the item in front of me, write the descriptions, write all the information. And then when I do get access to Internet, just copy and paste that information. That way I'm still getting something done without just, you know, without doing nothing. So maybe I can make some um, leeway like that. I could also write some blog posts. I have a bazillion ideas of stuff that I want to do blog posts on. And I really haven't had a lot of time to work on the blog, um, even though I really love doing that because it's my way of teaching. And so I could get a chance to do that as well. So um, wish me luck. <laughs> um, it's the luck, but it's also just like patience, uh, creativity, the ability to adapt and go with it. I really, 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 really want this to work out. I don't want to have to get a job again. Um, but, you know, things just keep happening. And so if I'm not careful, that's going to end up being the result. And I really don't want that to happen. I think that I have what it takes to do this, to work for myself. And I think that I have really good ideas. Um, I just need time. So, but I guess, you know, if time isn't coming to me, I've got to figure out how to make it. So that's what I got to do. So I hope you guys had a great week um, with listing and everything. Hope you had lots of sales. I've had a few sales here or there this weekend, um, and yeah, I'll touch base with you guys. I'm not going to be traveling back until next Thursday or Friday, so we'll see how, how things went. Um, I don't have any specific goals. I'm just trying to keep my head above water right now. I definitely need to have goals, so I probably need to reflect on that a little bit more. Um, I'm also making a free Poshmark course because I get a lot of questions about how to do Poshmark, and it seems that a lot of people are putting a lot of information out there, but it's kind of here and there, and, and it's not all in one place. So I'm wanting to create a free course on how just how to get started with Poshmark and what to do and how to use it um, because I think there are a lot of experienced eBay sellers that are interested in the transition, but they just don't know how to, how to do it. Um, and so I want to try to 
teach that in a in a way that's for those who aren't as tech experienced because Poshmark is mostly on the app and so if people don't have smartphones if people aren't used to the smartphone or whatever or the social network aspect of it it can be hard to kind of figure out what to do so I'm working on that so that could be something that I get done in the next couple of days while I'm here because I have the time to sit and make powerpoints and stuff that's a good idea um so anyway I'll touch back with you guys later in the week thank you guys for watching um, and I hope, I don't think this was necessarily helpful for anybody, maybe it was, but I know some people have said they like following my journey, and instead of doing daily vlogs per se, I wanted to do stuff like this, because I have a lot of ideas, and I think a lot, and so I want to do a weekly kind of, this is what I learned, this is what I was thinking, and eventually I like to make this a live event, um, but my computer is not reliable right now, it tends to shut down on me when I'm in the middle of using it, which is fun. Um, and then I'm not even at home right now anyway. So thank you guys and have a good weekend.